Hey guys, welcome back. Now today's video is going to be a natural looking, minimal makeup, spring makeup look. I feel like spring calls for just like freshness and I really feel like this look is really fresh. Now I'm also really excited about this video because it is in collaboration with Glossier. Now when Glossier started, they basically started off with phase one, which was mostly skincare. Now they have just released phase two, which is makeup. I could not be more excited because I just adore the brand and I was so excited to try out their makeup because I really really do love their skincare. Their bomb.com is my favorite lip balm. I've gone through literally two tubes of it in two months. I'm not even kidding. I use it every single day. So today I'm going to be showing you guys their new stretch it concealer, their new generation lipstick, as well as the boy brow. And yeah, it's basically it. So let's get right into it. Okay, so because we're basically putting nothing on the eyes, there's no risk for there being any type of fallout. So I'm going to start off with the face. I'm gonna take my Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is a really wonderful moisturizing primer. So on the days that I wanna look a little bit more on the natural side, my all-time favorite, favorite foundation is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus foundation. I'm just putting that out there. This stuff is magical. So good. So I'm just going to take my beauty blender and a little bit of the foundation and just start to just dot this all over my face. And you would be surprised with how full coverage this stuff is. This stuff really, really gives you a really, really nice medium coverage. So for my concealer today, I'm going to be taking the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I'm using the shade Light 10, which is my perfect shade to get a little bit of a highlight going on. This concealer is awesome for every day because it is so lightweight. And it also honestly just looks like skin. Like it doesn't even look like you're wearing anything when you wear this concealer, which is why I just love it so much for every single day. So I'm going to be taking my beauty blender. I'm just gonna dip right into the tub and I'm going to start to apply this underneath my eyes to conceal all of those dark circles that I've got going on. I'm also gonna put some of the concealer down the bridge of my nose just to highlight just a little bit. And I'm also going to put some on my chin as well. Okay, so now I'm just going to very lightly set my under eyes with some powder. I'm gonna take some of my RCMA No Color Powder. I'm gonna pat some of the powder underneath my eyes as well as in the center of my face. Even though I am dry, I don't really want there to be too much shine in that area because I don't wanna look oily. So now I'm going to bronze up my face using my Benefit Do the Hula. Now this is actually a liquid matte bronzer. So I'm going to just squeeze one pump on the back of my hand and now I'm just going to dot this everywhere where I'm gonna to wanna to bronze. So move the hair out of the way and I'm going to just dot this around my hairline also on my cheekbones and then I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and just blend all of that out and it blends out super easily I was a little bit scared when I first used this because I thought it would give me like a patchy bronzer look but I actually really 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 like the way it blends out it's super effortless so now to highlight my face this is the Josie Baron Argon Enlightenment Illuminizer this is one of my favorite liquid illuminizers again I'm going to take a little bit and dot this on the high points of my face where I want a little bit of a glow so on the tops of my cheekbones just like that and I'm also gonna go in a bit of a C shape and sort of connect it to the arch of my brow so it's sort of has like a nice C shape going on over here. I'm also gonna put a little bit of this on my Cupid's bow. And taking my Beauty Blender once again and just blending along that highlight so that it's really nicely blended into the skin. I do wanna set the creams just a little bit with like a tiny bit of powder so that I'm ensured that it's going to last the whole entire day and that it's sort of just going to stay on my face and not like move around and travel to different areas. So I'm actually gonna take Hoola, the powder version, and my Benefit bronzer brush, and I'm just going to dust this along the areas that I bronze without adding too much powder, so still keeping that natural looking glow that the cream gives you. So same thing with the highlighter. I'm going to just take a little bit of a powdered highlighter. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow, and I'm gonna take the highlight shade. This is a really pretty, more natural looking highlight shade. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of this on top of the highlighter to really set it in place, and it's gonna make it look a little bit more intense, which I'm not mad at. Now for my blush, I'm gonna be taking my Becca Mineral Blush in Wild Honey. So I'm gonna take a little bit on my Sephora Pro Airbrush Blush Brush and just put that right on the apples of my cheeks and blend it backwards. And it just gives like such a pretty like nude peachy glow to the cheeks, which I think is really, 
really beautiful for the springtime. So now let's move on to the brows as well as the eyes. So for my brows, I'm taking my Glossier Boy Brow. This stuff is incredible. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it a few times on my channel already, but this has basically completely replaced my Benefit Gimme Brow. It just makes my brows look a little bit thicker and it sets them in place. I'm just going to brush this through my brows to sort of set the hairs in place and make them look a little bit thicker. And I'm going to brush the hairs upwards to just give my brows a little bit of a thicker, more like fluffy, type of brow look. And I also find when I use this type of brow product that it makes filling in my brows afterwards a lot easier because I don't have to apply as much product as if I were not to use this. Because it sort of just fills in and thickens your brows for you before even touching a pencil or a powder or a pomade to it. So for my eyes, this is going to be the easiest thing ever. I'm also going to put a little bit of my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is just like a nude yellow based cream eyeshadow and I'm just going to apply this to my lids to really cancel out any type of redness that I may have and it's just going to make everything look a lot more uniform and really brighten up that area as well. And then I'm going to quickly just take a cream eyeshadow and a fluffy brush and just set that, that cream eyeshadow in place so that it does not slip and slide or crease. So for my inner corner highlight as well as my brow bone highlight, I'm gonna be taking this Nude Sticks. This is the a magnetic eye color in the shade Angel. It's a really pretty golden type of champagne shade. And I'm going to just pop this right on the inner corner of my eye. And I'm also gonna put this right underneath my brow bone. So before I apply my mascara, I'm going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray to really set all of this makeup in place. So for the rest of the eyes, this is going to be very, very easy. All you're gonna do is curl your lashes with an eyelash curler to get your lashes nice and elevated, and then we're going to apply a ton of mascara. For my mascara, I'm gonna be taking my Too Faced Better Than Sex. So I feel like when you're not wearing like any eye makeup at all, it's the concentration is basically all on the lashes, right? If the concentration is all on the lashes, the lashes need to look like bam fantastic so I am actually going to be applying individual lashes now this is for sure not something that you have to do you could definitely stop it here if that's what you want to do but I figured I would just take it a step further just to show you guys how I like to apply individual fake lashes number one and just to show you how it looks when you just have those really fluttery looking lashes without it actually looking like you're wearing fake lashes it looks really really natural so for my individuals I'm going to be taking my Flare Short Black Individual Lashes from Ardell. I will take the lash with some tweezers, put a tiny bit of lash glue right on the end of it, and then I just go from above and I place the lash where I want it. So I'm really gonna concentrate most of these lashes right on the outer corner of my eye to sort of give my eye a little bit of a flared out effect without having any eyeliner. To really make sure that the lashes are actually on the lash line, I take the end of my tweezers and I sort of just very lightly press down on the lash right at the base to make sure that it's touching the base of my lash line. I also like to go from one eye to the other. So once I place one on this side, I will go and place another one in the exact same place on the other eye just to make sure that everything is even. Okay, so I just finished applying probably about like four or five lashes on each side of my eye, just on the outer corner. So now to finish off the eyes, I'm just gonna take a nude eyeliner. This is the Pixie Eye Bright Liner and I'm just going to align my waterline with this. So now it's time for the lips. So I'm going to be using the new Glossier Generation lipsticks. Now these are really cool because they are sheer lipsticks that are matte. It almost just looks like your lips are just a little bit tinted. So this type of lipstick is really perfect when you want something that looks a little bit more natural. So I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. I'm, I'm actually going to be doing a ombre lip. So I'm first gonna take the shade called Crush and when you first look at it, it looks like a bright red but when you swatch it on your hand, you can see it's pretty sheer and you can actually build it up if you want it to be a little bit more pigmented, which is really nice. I'm first going to apply this on the outer perimeter of my lips. And now I'm gonna take my favorite color from the collection and this is called Like, and this is a really, really, really pretty pink shade. So I'm just going to apply this to the center of my lips. 
So the ombre look is very, very natural. I just want it to be just a little bit darker on the outer edges than in the center, but it's not such a huge like difference and it's like, whoa, that girl's wearing an ombre lip. Like it's still very suitable for every day. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you try out this look. And if you do, do not forget to tag me on Instagram or Twitter. And of course, as always, let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. Now you may or may not be able to tell that both sides of my face are not exactly